Hi guys, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the universal journal or very commonly known as your AC docket table. I will explain this one in a very simple way so that it is going to help you when you are going to answer these questions in your interview and very often when you will go for uh, consulting point of view, the interview, uh, definitely these questions will be there. The What is the universal journal or what is AC docket table? What is the role of AC docket table? So all these things will be there. So let's get started. Before as for HANA, the things are not that simple. So that is why it was bit complicated and uh, when uh, if you remember or if right now you are working on ECC you can connect this one so we have different tables for uh, different areas so you take any business process related to finance you will find a series of tables are available okay so let's take about the accounting document so when we are going to post the accounting document so the accounting document will be there in the uh, BSEC table and in that document, if you are going to add one cost object, then you will get two more tables. So you are going to get BSEC table as well as you are going to have the COEP. So you can check this document. So in this document, this is a finance document, but in this finance document, cost center is there. So that is why we have two outputs are there. So FI is there in the BSEC and controlling part cost center or any cost object you can take. It is part of your COEP. Similarly, if we'll take the example of asset accounting, so there also we have series of tables are there related to asset accounting. I will take the practical examples. Materializer point of view, again, we have separate series of tables are there. So if you are going to post a simple transactions like purchase of an asset, so there you will find various type of tables are going to be updated. And guess what? That means as many tables are updated, means many documents are there. So reconciliation is going to be a big headache. So that is why business used to do a lot of reconciliation activities in our SCCR or in SS ECC system. So finance controlling team going to spend good time before closing activities, whether it is month and year end. So they have to do a lot of reconciliation. So they have to make sure that the numbers are going to match across the system, whether it is related to FI data, CO data, again, asset, vendor. So all these things should be reconciled. Now we will go into the S4 HANA era or we will go for S4 HANA system. So before S4 HANA or before this universal journal, I already given the idea how what are the different tables we have so we have different tables like index tables series of index tables aggregate tables total tables for different different purpose so we need to extract the data from different tables and we need to prepare the reconciliation documents or we need to prepare the reconciliation most of the time we are going to do the manual reconciliations whereas from the simple finance means before s when the few add-on features was there so we got this universal journal table or ac docket table now let's quickly check how this ac docket table and what exactly right now we have here i'm taking here s 2023 version so obviously in s4 hana 2023 or ac docket point of view we have so many things are there related to finance but in the beginning when sap introduced this new table many things are not there in the ac docket table but a lot of things are simplified there like gl air ap those things are simplified but gradually sap keep on adding new features new finance related uh, features into this AC docket table. So if we'll check this AC docket table. So one of the feature is uh, in our HANA database that is the rows should be columnar. So you can see here this is the column store and uh, in this universal journal what are the different fields are there or what are the different informations are there. You just name any finance information so whether it is related to controlling, related to battery ledger, related to asset, related to normal accounting, receivables, payable, customer, vendor, everything is part of your AC docket table. right? So so these are various type of fields are available and uh, in different time these fields are going to be updated in our so that means in total we can say that for everything almost everything from the finance point of view we have this AC doc table is enough for our all type of finance requirement. It is also known as single source of truth. That means all financial and controlling informations are part of your AC doc table. So not only um, like you can say GL data here, GL asset, bank, controlling, uh, the profitability analysis, margin analysis, material ledger. So everything is one, it is there in one single table. That means for all our requirement, we are going to check one single source that is your AC doc table, accounting document, actually table right so this includes everything and what is the biggest benefit here that no more reconciliation between FIC or no more reconciliation between COPA and FI no more reconciliation between FI and material ledger no more reconciliation between GL and asset so SAP here using a term that is reconciliation by design reconciliation automated to uh, justify this one let me take here a couple of examples so let's uh, imagine our company is going to acquire the asset so let's say they have purchased one asset 
that one uh, vehicle they have purchased. Now, if we are going to post the transaction in ECC, just like whether you purchase it through finance or we purchase it through logistic, that means F-90 or through uh, purchase order, you will find that when we are going to post the document, first the asset acquisition entry will be posted. So debit obviously that is going to debit is asset and credit will be vendor. This is the accounting entry. Now, in this case, you are going to have the operation document means your vendor invoice document is going to be posted here. So basically you will find that uh, document type KR is updated or RE is updated and uh, we have just operation document is there. Then suppose let's say I want to reconcile between asset and GL means FI data with the asset data, GL data and asset data. It will not be reconciled until unless in month end we have not completed the asset and GL reconciliation. So we have to go to the ABST2 and we need to run the reconciliation activities. So user need to perform this activity. This was there in the EC. Not only the reconciliation is a problem when we are going to take the reports or when we are going to refer the tables. Again, asset header informations you will find from the ANEK table. Asset line items you will find from the ANEP line item. We want to see the asset value information that is from the ANLC table. This is how it was there. Now, for example, let's say uh, in month end we need to run the depreciation. So we know that depreciation is connected with the cost center and the CO data is going to part of COEP table. So this is how the transactions or the entire business process will be completed in one particular business scenario related to your EC system. Now to reconcile this again we have to perform some month end activities which I already explained. Now this is what they are in the old system. Now in S4 HANA how the things are simplified. Transaction point of view, there is no difference. User is going to perform exactly the similar way how they are going to post the asset accounting entries or asset purchase entry, but output you are going to get in a different way. So let me show you one asset document. So I will go to a B03 and we will check here the document number 10021 which I procured here the asset and when you will go to the normally you will find one entry view GL view and in S4 HANA you are going to have one asset accounting view and of course for that we need to do the required configuration now in this document what are the informations we can see here we have the operation document so this is our operation document this 19002 is my operation document and with reference to the document 19002 i have the asset document in this document i can see my all informations are available so let me add here the asset number so check the column asset number added 1002 so i can see here my uh, profit center information is there my asset number information is there my operation information is there and the asset data is also available and uh, all these informations we are getting from the AC docket table so you can see uh, the AC docket table extraction I'm showing here so all the informations you are going to get it from the AC docket table whether it is related to profit center whether it is related to your asset informations whether it is related to our GL data and uh, whether it is related to our operation document and this one is recorded with reference to our accounting principle that is your local gap now if I'm going to let's say if you have configured parallel accounting with parallel valuation so in that case if I will change my accounting principle you can see my non-leading ledger information is available my operation document is same but my non-leading ledger that is n1 here i have updated and the similar informations are available the, and here we have a use of technical clearing account is available so this technical clearing account is going to replace the reconciliation part now even if we will try to enter here abst2 which is ABST2 which was there in ECC now it is no more available that means reconciliation between GL and asset not required so it is by design whatever information I can see here everything is part of your AC docket table so asset header part will be there that is asset header separately we don't have any table it is part of your BKPF and all informations whatever I have explained it is part of your AC docket table so basically we are going to refer AC docket table for all type of informations related to your asset accounting similarly when we are going to post the depreciation depreciation information also will be there in the AC docket table so we are not going to refer the periodic values from our other table so it is part of your AC docket table now in this case if you will see what is the business benefit business benefit is business is going to run the asset balance GL trial balance cost center report everything from your AC docket table so no separate reconciliation between FI and asset is required now this is my accounting document related to revenue posting so this is my entry view if I will go to the general ledger view you can see uh, multiple informations are available 
So here we have posted a customer invoice, maybe directly in the uh, FI system, but this one is the integrated one. So with reference to billing document, this document is posted and uh, we got this accounting document. So when we are going to sell something to the customer or the revenue entry posted, so system is going to, or revenue transaction posted, system is going to post the revenue entry. Now in the universal journal, you will find the same entry and uh, in, if we'll compare this one in EC system, then accounts receivable information, customer data, you are going to get it from the BSID table if it is not at receipt. Index table will be used here BSID. Now, if customer made the payment, then cleared information you will find in the S, uh, your BSID table. GL data means your accounts receivable information you will find from the Fagel Flex app, Fagel Flex T. And uh, accounting information, of course, it will be there in the BSEC table. And uh, other informations like for example any COPA related information or any account assignment is available that will be there in the respective table. Whereas this document whatever it is available here everything is coming from the AC docket table whether it is profit center whether it is segment whether it is uh, your uh, if I will check here I think COPA is activated here yeah profit cent, uh, segment is there I mean profitability segment is there so all the characteristics information is also coming from the AC docket table. So you can see the extraction from the AC docket table. So my profit center, my material, the customer and here we are not going to maintain two table one for sub ledger like your customer and another one is for GL like your accounts receivable one single table we are going to have all information. So in one line you are going to have both GL data as well as sub ledger data till once we have the open item it is there in the AC docket table once we received the payment from the customer item converted into cleared item that also we will get it from the AC docket table. So for that purpose, we have to go to the AC docket table and we need to check from the AC docket table the status of the particular document and all the informations you will find there. Along with the informations related to material, what product we have sold here. So right now you can see I'm showing here the AC docket table and all informations it is there in the AC docket table only. So your product informations, your customer informations, segment informations, profit center informations, everything is there in the AC docket table or universal journal. It means now we can directly analyze our profitability per product wise per region wise means segment wise without having or without taking the data from multiple tables another big advantage of universal journal is that it is going to support multiple ledgers so you can see it here in the ac docket table i have configured multiple ledgers for my requirements so it includes all my standard ledgers and my extension ledger so it is going to support multiple accounting principle and multiple ledgers along with the currency so it is going to support up to 10 currencies till till the current version so for example let's say our company is going to report under ifrs and as well as we are also going to report under the indian gap local gap so in that case earlier we need to separate structures now in AC docket, we are going to have all the ledgers, all the informations you can see the extract here. Next question, how it is going to helpful for our reporting point of view. So what is the real business benefit here from the reporting point of view? Reporting nowadays or in S4 HANA, it is super flexible because all your informations, all dimensions like your cost center, profit center, segment, ledger, currency, everything in one single place that is your AC docket table. So it also going to allow us for the real time reporting. That means now we are going to use less BW extractors for the data. Not only it is going to simplify the reconciliation, we are also going to use less BW extractors to extract the data to the BW system. So data volume is also going to be reduced. For example, management want to see immediately the profit center report, profitability uh, status report as per the product line, as per the cost center. So we are not going to refer whether it is related to COPA table, cost center report or COEP table or let's say month and allocations completed that report. Not, not like that so we are just going to check one single source of truth or one single table that is your ac docket table it is also very helpful for our internal cost allocation for example let's say all type of utility related expenditures normally we used to post with our facility management cost center in the uh, during the transactions and in the month end for cost calculation point of view all cost we need to allocate to the production cost center this is our standard practice earlier in ecc when you are going to do the cost allocation so that time you are going to have another two tables are going to be updated one is your COSP if you are going for the primary location and COSS if you are using secondary cost allocation or secondary cost element you are using. Now in month end after doing the month end allocations those data is not going to match with your FI. So as a result again FICO reconciliation is big headache. Now you can see here 
here we got the CO document. This is my CO document. When we perform the month and allocation, we have generated this document. Earlier, this document also we used to get, but this is part of your CO SP table. Now, this document is part of your AC docket table. Check the AC docket table here. And with reference to that, we are also going to get the finance document too. Now, this finance document no user has posted. This document is posted or system has posted this document automatically with reference to our the month and activities through ksw5 you can check the header information so with reference to our ac doc with reference to our internal cost allocation this reconciliation document is generated so now FICO automatically it is reconciled so no use of COSP and COSS tables so those tables are no more it's not deleted it is converted into view table or core data services applied for the uh, like without disrupting our existing structure we are going to have the all the process is going to be smooth here. So this is again another use of your universal journal. So all the debit credit informations we can see under the same table without having any reconciliation gap. So what still it is there, what still remains here, that is your BKPF table. In fact, I would say that BKPF table is more strained than now. All your material ledger header data, asset accounting header data is part of your BKPF. Earlier, we have the separate table like for material ledger, MLHD table was there. So BKPF still we are going to use and uh, all accounting informations including asset and your material ledger header information is also part of your pkpf so pkpf is there as as it is and also you will find bsec table is still there but it is just for information purpose it is there and uh, practically we are not going to use bsec or sap is saying that entry view informations are part of your bsec table but for all line items all transaction related information so we are going to refer the ac docket table and uh, already i have shown you a couple of use of ac docket table so uh, practically we are going to use ac docket table for all type of uses and this is known as your real reporting and real reconciliation so if we'll summarize our points here universal journal is the backbone of s4 hana finance similarly in uh, logistic point of view we have another table that is your mad doc and we will talk about finance so we have AC docket table. It combines your FI, CO, asset, bank accounting, material ledger, profitability analysis, everything in one single place or in one single table that is AC docket table. You just do anything related to finance, you will find one output is going to be updated in the AC docket table. So it is remove the all the index tables, aggregate tables, total tables, and also it removes the reconciliation between your all areas, FICO, FI asset, right? So material ledger, COPA, all the reconciliations are almost gone. So it is going to also support multiple ledgers, both your standard ledger as well as extension ledger and all currencies within the same as uh, same entry or within the like mean in one line you are going to have all the informations are available and uh, the best part is that universal journal that means the finance professionals are going to spend less time on the reconciliation so definitely your users are nowadays very happy because they have to complete their closing activity very quickly so if you have any questions Feel free to mail me or add in the comments. I will answer those. See you soon with another topic. Bye.